what is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys uh got a recommendation we tapping into france uh i got a few videos i believe i uh, maybe one or two about france i think 10 places to visit in france then i did geography now france and now we here with some facts about france uh france is definitely one of those places gotta visit gotta visit you know what i'm saying um, all of europe really but this is about friends. We focusing on friends. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Hey, send me some more video suggestions. And let's see these 10 incredible facts. In France, Christmas is a family holiday. Stay home. New Year's Eve is when you go out. <laughs> Je vous servirai avec amour. Vive la République! Vive la France! Europe is a fascinating place that has a diverse amount of languages, culture, and a great economy that fuels the world. Home to some of the oldest locations, battlefields, and buildings. And within this country, there are places of beauty and art, and can be home to a oh, country wow. that has millions of people visit it a year. Welcome to the country of France, a place where many people travel for romance, love, and let's not forget, wine and delicate foods. Hey, Hey everybody, what's going on? Dave Wobble here and welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where we generally talk about people, cultures, and places from all around the world. Now, I'm pretty excited to be talking about France because, well, first of all, this is a video that you guys have recommended for quite some time. As a matter of fact, we've had people from like a year ago ask oh, us dang. to talk about France and we just have not got around to it. But because we're expanding into the European and the Nordic countries, well, we decided that today is going to be the day that we do it. And keep in mind, guys, if this is your first time here on the channel, we always like to take recommendations from you guys. As a matter of fact, if you like this video, we have been dipping into a lot of European countries, like I said, like Switzerland, Germany, and Poland, and even the Nordic countries like Norway, Finland, and Sweden. All good episodes, and you guys should check them out. Because hey, definitely, I agree with that. They definitely were good episodes. You know, I think I did all of, I know I did all of Sweden. Uh, I tacked into most of Denmark, and I think maybe a couple of Norway. But they are good. They are the good. truth is, you'd be surprised at what you guys don't know about other places that are around you. But either way, let's get talking about France because I'm really excited for this one. Also, quick mention that this video is brought to you by Grammarly.com. Be sure to check them out at the end of this video. So let's start off with the basics. How many people are in France and how big is this country? What is so good about the country itself? Well, first of all, its estimated size is to be approximately 640,000 to 643,000 kilometers square where making it the 43rd largest country in the entire okay. world. Now keep in mind, this is if you include Ooh. other places that France owns around the world, and it doesn't include Adeliland, which is part water. of the Antarctic in which they own. But more specifically, if we're talking about the France that you and I probably know, which is called the Metropolitan France, which is the one that's located in Europe and is kind of considered the mainland, it is roughly 551,695 kilometers square. And although it is known for its hexagon appearance, it is the largest country in all of Europe oh and the 50th in the world. Now, overall, this country, there are approximately 66,991,000 people. I'm gonna have to go look at my map again. I didn't know, I didn't know France was that big. I need to go look at my map again. 66 million? This country, there are approximately 66,991,000 people, making the country sit at 21 in the world wow. when it comes to population. But however, as for the metropolitan France, it sits at roughly 64,860,000 people as a 2017 wow. estimate, putting it at 22nd in the world. And even when it comes to its metropolitan, its density of people sits at 116 people per square kilometer. But who are all these people? Well, let's look at the demographics of France. In 2004, they estimate that 85% of the population is Caucasian, with 10% being North African, and 3.3% being Black, while 1.7 were listed as Asian. Now, when it comes to those numbers, keep in mind that those are not official numbers, they are only a rough estimate, because actually, and I didn't know this, within France, it's actually illegal, according to its constitution, to collect either ancestry or ethnicity data. Oh, wow. Now, as for France, when it comes I to people- I didn't know that, because we definitely go by that here in the States. Like, we have to put all that stuff. To collect either ancestry or ethnicity data. Now, as for France, when it comes to people, it is also the number one most visited country in the world. What? And it has had this title since approximately 2013, when it had over 82... Hey, 2013, the year I graduated, guys. Graduated high school, at least. 
title since approximately 2013, when it had over 82 million people crowded. visit the country. And oh for every God. single year since then, they've definitely had over 80 million people come in and visit France. However, ironically, it ranks fifth in the world when it comes to tourist spending, and in 2012, the spending from tourism contributed to 77.7 .7 billion euros, making up 9.7% oh of France's God. GDP. And the tourism in the country also provides approximately 3 million jobs for all the people of France, which is about 11% of the jobs Dang. in the entire country. And one of the main focus points for tourism is, well, Paris, because it is the oh. most visited city in the entire world. And besides this city, there is also spots and structures in the country that are listed as the most visited places on the planet. And these are obviously locations like the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre. But however, before getting into that what one, that one other reason the country is visited so much is because of its World Heritage Sites. Because as of July 2017, the country has 43 of them, making the country rank at fourth in the world when it comes to UNESCO zones. And within its first year what of 1970... What is this? What type of castle and it's like just on the water that's different nine they had four sites inscribed as unesco zones Dang. Now jumping back to Paris, hey, let's talk the about Eiffel the Eiffel Tower. Tower. Now the tower itself is not actually individually a UNESCO zone, but is part of the I mean that was the only way I knew friends back then when I was younger and stuff like we knew the Eiffel Tower, Paris, that was the only way of Sen, which classifies as one of these sites. But that doesn't stop it, it from up. being the number I one most- it light up like this though. That's pretty cool. Not actually individually a UNESCO zone, but is part of the Banks of Sen, which classifies as one of these sites. But that doesn't stop it from being the number one most visited location that you have to pay to get in, in the entire world. For example, in 2015, the Eiffel Tower had 6.91 million people wow. visit it. And it breaks down to them having roughly 25,000 people a day visit the structure. And besides regular folks like you and me, there's also- 25,000? That's a lot of people a day visiting this thing. There's been a lot of historical people that have visited the Eiffel Tower. And one really famous story about the Eiffel Tower was during World War II when Hitler came to visit the tower, the French had cut the cables on the lift so he had to walk all the way to the top, Dang. climbing all those stairs. Yeah, that's, that's right. But the city is also way. home to the Louvre, which is the world's largest art museum. And in 2016, it was ranked as the most visited art museum in the world, with 7.3 million visitors. This museum is located in the Louvre Palace, which was built roughly in the 12th to 13th century. But however, it became a museum by the time of 1793, making it now home to over 39,000 objects from wow. history. Now Paris is not just a place that has these beautiful locations and buildings and all that stuff. It also sits as capital of the country and is the most populated city. With over 2,229,621 people as of 2015, and the city's urban population sitting at 10,601,122, it is the largest urban area population in all of Europe. Wow. As well, it's a major financial center and center for art and sciences. Dang. And because of all these things behind it, the Paris region makes up $649.6 .6 billion as of 2014, which at the time that was about 30% of the GDP of France. On top of that, it's not just the largest in all of Europe, but it is the third highest GDP in the entire wow. world. Now let's step away from Paris for a bit because we've actually talked about that quite a bit. Let's talk about France itself. Well, first of all, it's divided up into 13 different regions. Now in France, they actually call them regions instead of states and provinces. And these 13 new regions are actually pretty new because before 2016, they actually had 27 regions. Now how about some of the achievements of the country? Well, France has actually contributed a lot to the world. As a matter of fact, we can't even talk about all of them because it'll just fill well, we'll be talking forever, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. It'll be like a half an hour video, and we won't even get to all of them. And to prove how much this country has accomplished, for Nobel Prizes, this country has the fourth highest amount of Nobel Prizes, okay, with 61 right? Nobel laureates achieved from its scientists. The first one, which was achieved by an engineer who became a poet, Solly Prude Home, in 1901 for literature, and the most recent was Jean-Pierre Sauvage in Jean 2016 for chemistry. And overall, this country 
poetry has introduced a lot into the world when it comes to inventions. First of all, they were the first country to ever put license plates on vehicles. Oh. And this began in 1901 when vehicles were mandated to have license plates put on them. And France is also the first country in the world to do a transplant of an artificial heart. This what? happened at the Georges Pompidou Hospital. Artificial heart? Okay, friends, y'all doing some different stuff around here. I mean, man, that license plate thing, that definitely come in handy nowadays, you know, to identify cars. Definitely something that was, psh, I bet people were like, why are we doing this? And then nowadays it's like, yeah, it's, you have to. You know, so uh, that's different. But this heart transplant thing. Mandated to have license plates put on them. Artificial and heart. I never heard of it. France is also the first that country in wild. the world to do a transplant of an artificial heart. This happened at the Georges Pompidou Hospital wow. in Paris in 2013. And although this artificial heart may weigh three times the amount of a real one, French surgeons have definitely changed the way healthcare could be perceived in the future. As well, to contribute to, to science, they also created a perfect way to measure the metric system. System. So this little object is called Le Grand K, or translated the Big K, which was created in 1879. Now that. this vacuumized object was the only I item. I've seen that on uh, the metric system video. One of them at the time that could measure the exact weight of one kilogram. And although it's been locked up for many years because moisture and fingertips could make the weight change, the oh, crazy wow. thing is for some strange reason, the weight of this thing is actually getting less and less as time goes on. So there you have it guys. That's what did you guys learn about France and what are your thoughts about France now? As you now know that it is a country that contributes so much to the world despite what you hear about it. My name is Dave Wobble and I want to thank you guys for tuning in and learning about France with me. Also, when it comes to our reoccurring viewers, I want to thank you guys for taking the time and learning about many different cultures from all around the world. And that being said, if you guys like this video, be sure to check out some of our other videos as well. Like I said, we've been talking about European countries, we've talked about Switzerland, we've talked about places like Germany, we've even done Nordic countries like Sweden and Finland, and we've even done a lot of Southeast Asian countries as well. So feel free to check those out, guys. On top of that, check out Grammarly.com. These guys are a really amazing sponsor because they have a free product. Program. That's right guys, I said free program, right? It's so easy, it's down there in the description box below and it really helps improve your English. Just download it and watch yourself change as you type, <laughs> it's crazy. However, this is France, a beautiful, elegant country that not only has a great culture, but a people who contribute much to the world. One of the world's most powerful economic points, but where there is hard work, there is also moments of peace, relaxation, Max, and Max. entertainment. As it is a country that has given so much to the world through art, science, and and pure thought. This is the country, people, and culture of France. She stands tall, proud, and true. Viva la France. Okay, France, okay. Now this was good. Definitely can't wait to learn a little bit more about France. I actually was just watching the France uh, basketball team because I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Rudy Gobert is France, uh, French. I think it wasn't Tony Parker, I believe. So these some guys, you know, I know through basketball and stuff like that. But now this was good. Definitely uh enjoyed this. Can't wait to learn more about France. Like I said, I always knew France growing up just because of Paris, the Eiffel Tower, you know, it's a popular thing. So I always knew that. So but this was interesting. So y'all make sure y'all send me some more video suggestions. And hey, y'all hit that subscribe button. That's all I have. Y'all be blessed, be the best and be you. I'm out.